All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about, first off, a cooldown that is coming up in the shorter range, and then an Arctic Blast that's gonna be going on later on. <laughs> Now, by the way, guys, you might notice that my throat is bothering me. You might hear it a little bit. My throat has been bothering me for a few days now. I'm just trying to, you know, roll with the punches, roll through it, and just make these videos. So if you hear my voice sounds a little different, that is what is going on. I'm okay. It's just my throat hurts a little bit, and it has hurt for a few days. Uh, but, you know, we, we got to make videos, guys. The weather is important. But before we get into things, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. As always, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, we're basically at the halfway mark of October, so do you think that final half is going to be featuring more colder than normal weather or more above normal weather for the eastern half of the United States overall? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video. And first things first, we're taking a look at the temperatures that are expected. Well, this is actually yesterday's temperatures. We're basically dealing with mostly 70s and 80s for the eastern United States, and we have been for quite a while. But we are going to go into a pattern that looks a lot more like this, where we're going to have widespread 50s and 40s for more of the northeastern and north central regions, uh, and more 60s and 70s overall instead of 80s for the southern regions of the eastern United States. Uh, and I'm looking forward to this, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well, more fall-like weather. This is what we're talking about here. So let's just go through the temperature anomalies. This is what we're dealing with as of last night. And as you can see, that big cooldown is now center centered over mostly the central United States here. As you can see, a lot of the Rockies dealing with that, especially in the greens. That's where we're dealing with far below normal temperatures. Warmer in the western United States overall, and then warmer in the eastern United States overall as well. But by the time we reach this afternoon, that's going to be Saturday, obviously, on October 16th, you can see that that cooldown has moved further and further eastward to where now basically just the eastern seaboard is dealing with these warmer temperatures, but it's drawing very close to that cooldown. And by the time we reach Sunday afternoon, tomorrow, uh, October 17th, you can see that cooldown reaches the eastern seaboard. We see areas like Texas, Louisiana, a lot of the Gulf states overall. Uh, and then all the way up through the northeastern United States dealing with below normal temperatures. Now, the warm is set up mostly over the west and the north central United States. Uh, and this allows for that cool down to move further east. This isn't an Arctic blast because it didn't really come from the Arctic regions. It actually came mostly from uh, the west. It headed from the west and just moved straight into the east. So I don't consider this an Arctic blast because it never came from the Arctic regions. Now, later on in the video, if you stay tuned, there is an actual Arctic blast that comes from the Arctic regions that we are watching for. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on towards Monday and beyond uh, and just take a look at this cooldown when it comes to an end and then take a look for that Arctic blast. All right, now here we are taking a look at Monday, October 18th. And as you can see, the northeastern United States is dealing with some far below normal temperatures as well as kind of the Gulf states in the southeast. We see warmer up there for the north central United States. And then in the west, we see a lot of colder than normal conditions overall. So that's a negative PNA kind of reinserting itself. And usually that means warmer temperatures will be the trend in the eastern United States. And it usually takes a little bit of time for that to fully set in after that negative PNA is there. But it is definitely there. So by the time we reach Tuesday, you can see warm is dominating for the central and eastern United States. So this cooldown is going to last, you know, very shortly through Saturday, Sunday, and a little bit of Monday. But by the time we reach Tuesday, it's going to be really drawing to an end and the warm temperatures will be back. Now, these aren't significantly above normal temperatures unless you're in uh, Minnesota or Wisconsin, some of those areas in the darker reds and the kind of gray colors there. But these lighter yellows, this isn't going to be a huge departure from what is typical for you. Now, by the time we reach approximately Wednesday evening, so this is going to be maybe 8 p.m. on Wednesday, October 20th, uh, we will be dealing with mostly those yellows, like I said, so not far above normal temperatures, but more like slightly above normal temperatures for the eastern half of the country, and then below normal temperatures out west overall, so still that negative PNA. Now, by the time we reach about... I would say this is Thursday evening, maybe 8 p.m. on Thursday, October 21st. You can see warmer temperatures are building in the west. They're still around for the east, but we see some colder temperatures setting up for the north central United States and southern central Canada. This is that Arctic blast that is coming from the Arctic regions. It has been shoved down from the Arctic regions. 
And this really, really sets in by the time we reach Friday evening. That's going to be October 22nd because look at this. Widespread greens and darker blues here for the eastern half of the country. This is a true Arctic blast. Uh, and it's going to be one that we've not really seen anything like for the entire fall so far. Um, so if you're anywhere in the greens, you're about 10 degrees or more below normal. If you're in the blues, you're anywhere from 1 to 10 degrees below normal, which will still feel colder than what we've been dealing with. So you're still, you know, I, I don't think you're going to notice that it's only slightly below normal. It's going to feel far below normal based on the conditions we've dealt with so far this October. Now, we see a bit of a southeast ridge that will be generally coming to an end. We see the warm still out west, which means that PNA is still holding strong. But in a moment, we're going to move on to where this cool down really dives down. Uh, and it's going to stick around a while, according to this model. Uh, but we will see a negative PNA try to reinsert itself into the pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on towards Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, and just watch it play out. So first things first, here we are at Saturday afternoon, October 23rd. And as you can see, it looks very similar to the pattern we had on uh, Friday evening. Obviously, it's not too far from that anyway. We see a lot of areas that had that southeast ridge kind of re-getting that cool down. They've seen the cooler temperatures move in. Uh, many folks are dealing with the colder than normal conditions by this point. And even by Sunday afternoon, we can see that cool down is still around. You can tell it's weakening a bit, that PNA out west, we could see some colder temperatures building in for California. That is a sign of the end of this cooldown, uh, and it's already lasted a long while. But it's very clear by the time we reach Monday, October 25th, that a negative PNA is really inserting itself to the pattern. We still have colder than normal conditions in the east, so this is going to be a long-lived cooldown according to this model, which I'm sure a lot of people have been looking forward to, uh, including myself. Now, by Tuesday afternoon, we see that PNA is building in a very strong cooldown for the four corner states, Nevada, California by this point as well. And then the warm up is mostly located for the north central United States, and we see more near normal conditions for the south central United States as well. Uh, but overall, uh, still some cooler than normal conditions set up over the eastern United States. But by the time we reach Wednesday afternoon, this is fully uh, transitioning towards a warm pattern in the east. We see the cooldown is hanging on by a thread there in the eastern United States, and the west is cooler overall. Uh, and this is where we're going to end that and take a look at our PNA on the European weekly model. And as you can see, we're in a strongly negative PNA if you look at the very far left hand corner. A negative PNA, again, is colder than normal conditions along the western seaboard, and that brings warmer than normal conditions for the eastern half of the country. But you can see over the next five days or so, we go from strongly negative to very strongly positive, about a three or a four um, there on the positive PNA around the 20th through the 24th. Uh, and that is what's going to allow for that colder air to really move into the eastern United States. And overall, the trend as you look towards uh, the right-hand corner of your screen is going to be a positive PNA overall. It obviously heads more towards neutral, but this is an ensemble model, uh, so this usually evens out towards the end of it. But overall, the trend is more positive than negative through the rest of October and maybe even through November. Now, here's our AO chart in the same fashion, our Arctic Oscillation. In its negative phase, you, it allows for Arctic Blast to take place. In its positive phase, it's a lot harder for an Arctic blast to take place. There can still be colder than normal conditions in a positive AO. It's just not going to be Arctic blast level stuff. Uh, and this one generally heads more towards neutral in the medium to long range. But again, it is an ensemble model. Right now, we are in a negative phase and are expected to kind of stay in a negative phase at least through the 22nd. And that's what's going to allow for a Arctic blast to take place in the forecast, basically. For today's confidence tab, we're at a 4 out of 6. We've drawn a little bit closer to the first cooldown. That Arctic Blast is a little longer range. So right now we're around 50-60% to 60 confident uh, in all the things we talked about on average. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, when do you think our biggest winter storm will be throughout the winter? And Boris Best Plays said, I think our biggest winter storm will around, I, I think they meant to say be around, obviously, late January into early February. And that's a safe bet. I definitely agree sometime in that kind of late to Janu late January to early February time frame is a good bet there, uh, and I could definitely see that happening. For today's patron of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Bill Crates, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Larry the Pan, Mandy Birchfield, Patrick Strickland, 
I would also like to thank our Diamond Patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Kudalasa, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Alan Goodmaben, Bill Dallas, Gary, John Khaleesi, Dwight Balin, Stephen Kernenthal, and Thomas D. Barr as well. I would also like to thank our plat or sorry, our channel members, better yet, Catbite, Stephen Fan, and Jeremy Cox as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I'll see you guys in the next video.